Let's go out live. Hello, welcome back to uh, part two of the onions with cumin sauce. They've been simmering away now for about 15 minutes, so they're nice and tender. But the, the juice, there's a lot of juice in there. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to add some breadcrumbs to that just to thicken the sauce up. So what we've done so far is we fried our onions off. We added our spices, our cumin, uh, salt and saffron. And then we added our almond milk. Now to finish them off, we're just going to add our, some breadcrumbs. So I'm just going to put a few of these in at a time just to see. Stuck together. Just until we've got a nice thick sauce with our with our cumin. A few more in there. And that will soak up into the bread, all the lovely flavours. It, it you can't smell it, but it smells absolutely gorgeous. The, the smell of the cumin and the onions together is lovely. So just letting that just simmer with the breadcrumbs just for a, a minute or so. I'm just going to put a few more in there because we want a nice, a nice thick sauce. A nice so now this this dish would be lovely with the lamb cakes and wheat pilaf that we made. So if you need to, if you didn't see that, have a look on the um, my Facebook page or um, the YouTube page under Lady under Jane's Medieval Kitchen, and uh, you'll be able to get the recipes for those. Now I'm just going to leave that just for a moment, just to soak for all the juices to soak into the bread. So that, I think that's probably nearly ready now. Just about ready. So what I'm going to do is going to say this will be served, as I say, on a on a trencher with your meat and your um, whatever other dishes you want wanted to have with it. Um, there we go. Just dish some of that up for you. So there you go. You've got a lovely. It doesn't look particularly nice. But it tastes really good. So there you go. That's your onion in cumin sauce. Thank you for watching this afternoon of today, and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.